The first thing I want you to do is have your three objects lined up. Draw your legs out, take a nice big breath in, and then sweep the floor and reach for the sky. Sweep and reach, sweep and reach, sweep and reach. Three more, one and two, one more time and three. Now just open to the side, reach as far as you can and then switch to the other side. Nice and long, lining up the shoulders again. Reach and switch. Last one, both sides. Reach and switch. All right, first move. What we're gonna start with first is balancing. And you're gonna go ahead and tap your left foot, lift up the knee, tap and lift. One and two and three. Exhale as you lift, four, five, six. Exhale, seven, three more. Eight and nine, one more time. And rest. We're gonna switch feet nice and tall, relax the shoulders. Think about the posture, tap and lift. One and two. Exhale, three and four and five. Six, relax the shoulders, seven, stand nice and tall. Eight, two more, nine, one more, and rest. Great job, open it up, lengthen those legs, interlace at your elbows, and exaggerate a nice stretch for the low back and those hamstrings, create as much space as you can, and then resist that circle the other way. Very nice, go ahead from here and slowly roll it up. Now, instead of tapping the foot, you're gonna go ahead and take that left hand and then tap and lift. You can draw the knee back up or tap the foot back down. So tap and one, tap and two. Find that focal point, pull that belly button in nice and tight for four, exhale and five, and six, nice and tall, seven, exhale, eight, two more, nine, we've got one more time now, and let it go, very good, now we're gonna switch to that other foot, so shoulders back, belly button comes in, here we go, tap, one, exhale, two, Lengthen and three, four, try to square off those hips, five and six. Exhale, seven and eight, two more times, nine, one more time, and 10. Very good, take your hands on your hips and just exaggerate a nice big range of motion and then go ahead and rewind it the other way. So now all we're gonna do is toe tap and finger tap. So we're gonna go ahead from here and take that left hand, left foot. So tap, one, exhale, two. If you need to bring your foot back down in the middle, do it, three. Lengthen, four, and five. Here we go, six and seven, press and lengthen, eight, two more times, nine, one more time, and rest. Very good, we're gonna switch to the other side. Nice deep breath in, go ahead and tap, and one, exhale, and two, lengthen the spine and reach, three, not uncommon to have one side with better balance. Four, tap, and five. Exhale, six, here we go, seven, and tap, eight, two more times, and nine, one more, and 10. Very nice, go ahead from here and grab your light weights. Roll the shoulders back, pull the belly button in. Take a nice deep breath first and just lengthen. Take your left hand down towards your right foot. 
Take a nice deep breath in, right hand behind the back. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Lengthen your spine, crown of the head directly in front of you, contract the quadriceps. Big inhale, big exhale. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, find that center of balance, you're gonna bend up the elbows, take a nice deep breath in, lift up your knee, and you're gonna front snap, kick it, while you give it a little bicep press. So one, two, three, and four. Five, exhale, lift. Seven, eight, nine, one more time, and 10. Very good, let's switch to the other side. Bend from the elbow, nice deep breath in. Here we go, one, two, three. Pull that belly button nice and tight, four. Five, no shrugging, six, seven, three more, eight, Nine, one more time. Great job. Right here, let's come on down. I'm gonna move the object over just so it's easy to see. You're gonna come to a plank, but we're gonna come to a renegade row. If you can hold a plank easily and you can use a weight, you're gonna go ahead and row right up to your hip. If you can, holding that plank, squaring up your hips, you're gonna row and resist, okay? Here we go, one and two. Three, exhale as you pull that in, four, and five, square those hips, six, seven, eight, right to that hip, nine, one more, and give it a little rest, puppy pose, hips high, head low, nice deep breath in, very good, now you're just going to transition, same arm, onto your elbow into a side plank. If need be, you take your top leg, bend it to prop yourself up. If you can, all the way up in that side plank. Nice deep breath in from here. You're going to bend at the elbow, drop and lift right here. Inhale and exhale. One, keep your elbow close to your side. Two, other elbow right under the shoulder. Three, four, five, squeeze and lift. Six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, one more time, and rest it. Go ahead and rotate one more time, puppy pose, hip side, head low, left arm underneath that shoulder, stretch it out, it feels comfortable, relax your hips down. Big breath in, big breath out. Switch hands, take the other arm, bring it underneath. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. So we have our renegade row and then our side plank. So if you need to, you can drop down to one knee, square up the hips, palm under the shoulder and row. One and two, three. And four, exhale, right to your hip, five, six, seven, exhale it up, eight, two more, nine, ten, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest. I don't know that we did plenty of pulses on the other side. You know what we did? We did. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna just do a quick set of little minis on the other side, you guys, just so we're even. So go back to that other side, Renegade Row, and we're gonna pulse right here for minis. One, two, three, four, right to your hip, five, six, and seven, eight, two more, nine, and there you go, nice and even. All right, so now, to your side plank, you can always use that leg to balance and you're gonna lift and lower. Otherwise, lift it up, tuck your elbow right underneath, lift and lower. So one, two, three, keep your elbow nice and close, four, five, and six, squeeze and lift it, seven, 
Exhale, eight, two more. Nine, one more time. And 10. Great job. Go ahead and come onto your back now. Pull the knees in for a moment and circle those knees away. Take a nice deep breath in, exaggerate that range of motion, increase the mobility of your hips. Now, grabbing those two weights, if you feel comfortable rolling, you're gonna roll it up. If not, you'll stay right here. You can alternate lifting one leg and then the other. The move is going to be, make sure nothing is behind you. You're gonna give a little pullover, pop up, and lengthen and left. Okay, deep breath in, row, and left. One, inhale, and two. Now make sure that you're not rolling back on your neck. Three, your arms are at the same angle as your legs. Four, find that center of balance. Five, and six. Now pull that belly button nice and tight. Seven. Here we go. Eight, two more times. And nine, one more now. Now stay right here, pump it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Exhale, seven, and eight, two more. And rest it. Drop those weights down and open up your arms to a T. Relax both of your knees here, all the way to your left side. Lengthen your right arm. Lengthen your right leg out straight and roll the ankle. Just exaggerate and lengthen. Open through the IT band. Other way. And then draw those knees up and relax to the other side. Lengthen the arm out. Nice deep breath in. Lengthen the leg all the way over, roll at the ankle. Exaggerate that range of motion. Rewind it the other way. Very nice. We're gonna come into a plank move and I want you to face your three objects, okay? So make sure that your weights always come back in front of you so that you don't have any chance of tripping on them. Now you can either come from your high plank or you can come from a plank on your elbows. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go shoulder, shoulder, tap, tap. What I'm trying to prevent as much as I can, which always happens, is I end up rotating from one side and then the other. So as much as I can, I'm just trying to square up the hips as I tap, tap, and then tap, tap. All right, so nice deep breath in. Here we go, shoulder, tap, Tap, front, one. Tap, tap. Remember which hand you're leading with because we're gonna switch to the other side after 10. Tap, tap, four. Tap, tap, and five. Tap, tap, and six. Tap, tap, and seven. Engage. Here we go, for eight, tap, tap, and nine, one more, tap, tap. Rest it right here, push back, let it go. Relax your hips side to side. Very good, now if you need to, you can always drop down to your elbows, the difference being overall body holding here, really concentrated on the core, from here, I'm just not gonna come up as high if I'm tapping, but sometimes the wrist gives us an issue. So deep breath in, other hand first. So tap, tap, front for one. Tap, tap, and two. Inhale, exhale, three. Here we go, and four. And five. Tap, tap, front, six, tap, tap. Keep that neck in neutral, seven. Think about the posture and the balance here, eight. Tap, tap, this is nine, one more. Tap, 
and let it go again. Take a nice deep breath in, sink your hips back. Take your hands near your feet and roll the wrist. Big stretch here. Rewind it. Very nice. We're going to come back up to a standing. So, 10 little tiny curtsies from here. And all you're going to do is drive the knee up. If you choose, you can hold on to two weights if you want to, but it's not necessary. What I want you to do is take your left foot back from here. You can come to a bicep curl if you want to, and then you're going to drive this elbow to the knee. So curl, knee, curl, two, curl, three, curl, four, and five. I'm lifting up that knee as high as I can. Six, seven, eight, two more, curl, nine, one more. Now stay right here, tap and lift. One, two, three, and keep that foot up, try it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and rest. Open it up and exaggerate. Increase the mobility of your hip, and then rewind it the other way. Very good. Now, other side, so we've got curtsy bicep curl, Make sure you step far enough behind you. Curl, lift up the knee. Curl, two, three, as high as you can. Four, curl, and five, six, curl, and seven. Here we go, eight. This is nine, one more. Now left, one. Two, try not to tap if you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. Very nice. I'm going to place those weights down again and drop as low as I can. Try to create some space here on your hips. Take your left shoulder and gently rotate the shoulder all the way to that right side. Switch to the other side. We're going to stay low here if you can, and we're going to come to the tadpole burpee. Sometimes we're not comfortable jumping back. I can stay here. I can step back, step back, step in, step in, and then I can pop up if I need to. I can stay down here. Make sure as I jump back, abdominal muscles stay nice and engaged. And then lift those hands up. Okay, if I can prevent coming back down, if it's too much, I just pop up in the middle. Ready, steady. One, two, and three, and four. Here we go. Five. Six, and seven, three more, eight, two more times, nine, one more time, and rest. Great work, I'm going to reach the arms up, and just reach to the corner. Drop your ears right through the arms. Keep that nice flat back. You can take your hand right onto that shin. Crown of the head, reaching right to the corners. Take your glutes and hips all the way back. Lengthen your back leg. Lift it back up. Rotate to the other side. Stick your hip out. Lengthen your spine. Posture tall. And keep that back nice and flat. Lengthen. Contract the quadriceps. Nice deep breath in. All right, so. Now we're gonna do a lunge, curtsy, lunge, and then come back up. If I need to use a chair for balance, I will. I can also grab some weights, take it to the next level. So you're gonna come back to a curtsy. You can either bend your back knee or lengthen your back leg. So I'm gonna go bicep curl, lateral raise, bicep curl, 
And as I lengthen my leg, I'm gonna to try to come to a tricep kickback. So keep your hips and your feet hip distance to help with your balance. So here we go, lunge, curtsy, lunge curl, and front snap kick. So lunge, bicep curl, lateral raise, curl, and kick, two. Lunge, curtsy, lunge, squeeze, abdominal muscles in, lunge, curtsy, lunge, five more, lunge, curtsy, lunge, six, very good, lunge, curtsy, seven, lunge, curtsy, lunge, eight, two more times, lunge, curtsy, here we go, one more time, lunge, curtsy, lunge, rest that up, take that standing leg and shoot the hips back, contract the quadriceps, open it up, nice deep breath in, big flat back, place the weights down for a moment and really try to lengthen, chin towards the toe, Pop it back up, find your center of balance. You're gonna go ahead and bend here and pull and try to line up the quadriceps. So nice deep breath in, open up through the hip flexor, pull that belly button in nice and tall, reach the crown of the head right to the ceiling. Big breath in, very nice. Here we go now, other side. I can keep my legs straight or bent as I come to that lunge. Here we go, lunge, curtsy, lunge, front snap, kick back, curl, lateral raise, curl, squeeze back, two, curl, curtsy, here we go, exhale, three, curl, lateral, and four, keep the crown of the head right to the ceiling, Halfway there, five. Curl, curtsy, curl. Four more times. So curl and curtsy, curl. Here we go, three more. Lengthen, open, curl. Last two, hip distance helps. Let's do this one more time. Curl, curtsy. Lunge and lengthen. Very good, you guys. Go ahead from here. Lengthen that leg. Grab onto the toe. Crown of the head reaching directly to that corner. Push your hips back. Lengthen your spine. Big breath in. Find that center of balance. And then draw that knee. Heel towards the hip. Doesn't work. I take my foot on the chair and find my balance there. Take a deep breath in. Line up your legs. Wonderful job. All right, so next is going to be just a lateral movement with the leg. Trying to work the center of balance without leaning too much to the side. So I'm gonna hold the weights from here. Open, pull back. I can open and pull my knee if it works. So one, and two, and three, four, exhale, and five, lateral curl, six. Here we go, seven, very nice, eight. Here we go, nine, one more, and rest. Very nice, you guys, open it up and relax, take a nice deep breath in, roll your hips, increase the mobility of your spine. All right, let's go ahead to the other side. All you're doing is that little lateral raise. Here we go. One, and two, exhale, three, and four, exhale for five, squeeze and lift six. And seven, 
This is eight, two more. Nine, one more time. And rest. Awesome job. Let's go ahead from here. We're gonna come down. And what we're gonna do is a little bit of a three part move from a kneeling position. So, bird dog. That is where we take the opposite arm and leg and we pull and lift. So what we're gonna do is just do that five times to review the move. So what I want you to do is take that, take your right arm forward and your left leg back. Deep breath in. Five, four, you can do this without weights. Three, if the weight is too heavy. Two, one more, and one. Rest it. The next move is going to be, you're gonna go ahead and take your knee to the side and come to that lateral raise. We're gonna try to do that at the same time. Five times, here we go. Right arm, left leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do a tricep kick back with the right. That left leg is gonna kick directly behind. We're gonna to try to do that at the same time. So let's do that five times. Square up your hips. Pull the belly button in. Kick back, elbow higher than your back. One, two, three, and four. One more, and five. Give that a quick little rest. Push back your puppy pose. Lengthen your spine. If it's comfortable, sink your hips back. Take a nice deep breath in. Create some space in that low back. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it together. So very slowly, we'll start first, I'll go through the moves, and then you can add if you want to, unless you know what you're doing, we're gonna come to the bird dog first. So reach, pull, lateral, tricep kick back. One more time, bird dog, lateral, kick back, okay? Here we go, keep your abdominal muscles pulled in nice and tight, neck and neutral, bird dog, Side, straight back for one. Bird dog, side, and two. And bird dog, and side, and three. Two more, bird dog, side, and four. One more time, bird dog, side, and rest. Take another big breath in, drop those hips down. Sink your energy back and add a gentle rotation left to right. Take from here the left hand, draw and thread the needle underneath that right. Then look over to your right side. Roll the wrist. Rewind it. Okay, so now all we're going to do is switch sides. So bird dog for five. Now it's going to be left hand, right leg. Reach, pull, one, two, three, exhale, four, one more, and five. Now, you can always break up the second part if it feels better. Lateral squeeze, fire hydrant. For five, four, three, two, and one. Watch that center of balance, take a nice deep breath in, tuck from here, lift up the elbow higher than your back, tricep kick back, pull up, one, and lengthen two, and three, and four, one more, and five. Take a quick break and come to that puppy pose one more time, hips high, head low, sink those hips down, now we're just going to tie that together. So bird dog, fire hydrant, kick back. Ready? Here we go. Bird dog reach. Lateral, kick back for one. Bird dog, square the hips. Lateral, kick back tricep for two. Squeeze and lengthen front. Side, back three. Front, side, Back four, one more time. Bird dog, lateral, and kick back. Very good, you guys. This time sink right away, right in, relaxing the hips down. 
Take your right hand and feed it underneath that left. Roll the wrist. Exaggerate it, rewind it. Very nice. Go ahead here and lengthen and extend that right leg out. We're gonna thread the needle one more time here. We're gonna take that left arm underneath. So reach and lengthen that right. Take that left arm underneath and big breath in. If it doesn't work to lengthen the leg, you come to that child's pose once again. And then go ahead and add a nice little stretch to the other side. Lengthen the leg, thread the needle, and reach right to that side. Big breath in, big breath out. Very nice. Let's go ahead from here. We're gonna go ahead and come to that plank, okay? And this time, we're going to do our tricep kickback, working that balance. If I need to, I can bend one knee and work that tricep kickback. Ideally, we want our elbow to be higher so we can kick back and keep the hips square. All right, it doesn't work and you just come to your elbows, then you can add a little more rotation to the body. All right, here we go. Lift it up, kick back, one, two, three, pull the belly button tight, four. Keep your elbow higher than your back, six, seven, neck in neutral, eight, and nine, one more. Quick little rest. We're gonna stay with that same side. Take a nice inhale. Now for the minis, keep the elbow nice and high, just a little tiny pulse. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze it, eight, and relax it. Great work. Go ahead and come onto your hands and your knees. Tuck from here, cat cow, and open. Inhale, tuck, exhale. Inhale, exhale one more time. Okay, so we're back to the plank. Now from this side, you should be able to see my elbow the whole time higher than the back as I kick back. Make sure your palm's under your shoulder. Drop to one knee if you need to. One, two, three, four. Exhale, kick it back. Five, six, square off those hips. Seven, eight, you got two more. Nine, one more. Give it a quick little rest and mini pulses. So big breath in. If it doesn't work for minis, you can hold. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, square it off, six, five, four, keep your elbow higher than your back, three, two, and rest right back to that cat cow. Nice deep breath in, push right into the ground, tuck your chin to your chest, exhale, open, inhale, tuck, separate the shoulder blades, lengthen again, tuck, and lift one more time now. We're gonna come into Crouching Tiger. We're gonna take here the opportunity to drop down to our elbows as we come down low, we've got a little bit more of the core coming into this. This movement, you always feel the quadriceps as well. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and bend the knees underneath the shoulders, elbows, um, sorry, knees underneath the hips, elbows under the shoulders, and all I want you to do is pop up and hover. So nice deep breath in, hold. Pull the belly button in, press the forearms. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push back dolphin pose. You're gonna lengthen those legs. Take a nice deep breath in. Contract the quadriceps. Lengthen and contract. And then drop the knees back down. Now come onto your palms. We're gonna repeat that. Crouching tiger from the palms. So palms underneath the shoulders. Barely lift your knees off. Pull the belly button in. Count 10. 
nine, eight, seven. Pull the belly button in. Five, four. Lower the legs half of an inch. Three, two. Push back, downward facing dog. Relax and lengthen. Thumb first finger. Drop the crown of the head right to the floor. Contract the quadriceps. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Go ahead and drop to those knees one more time. Take a quick little sink back into child's pose. Take a great big inhale and gently rotate your hips left to right. Now, the movement is going to be that same crouching tiger, but what we're gonna do is add a little bit of a kick through. So I'm gonna come back to the palms here, hover, and I'm gonna take that back leg, rotate, kick my foot, find that center of balance, draw the knee back in. If it doesn't work, I can drop here and instead kick the other leg. Come back here, drop the same leg instead, and just come to a lateral kick. I would rather you try to kick your leg through, but sometimes ergonomically, it just doesn't work. So take a deep breath in here, hover, deep breath in. Back foot kick through, one. Inhale, hover, lengthen, kick through, two. Hover, square the hips, rotate, kick through, three. Inhale, exhale, four, one more time. Twist and kick. Let it go and relax. Sink the energy back. Take your hands by your feet and roll the wrist. Deep breath in. If puppy pose feels better, keep your hips high. Now we're going to kick the other leg. So I'm going to go ahead and pop back up. If I need to come from my elbows, it still can be done, but to add that clearance, you're not going to have as much room for your legs, especially if you have big feet like me. So you're gonna go ahead from here and you're gonna lengthen, take a nice deep breath in, rotate, kick that back foot through. One, rotate, two, palm underneath your shoulder, lengthen, three, two more times, square the hips, rotate, and four, we have one more time now, and for five. Drop it down, hands right by those ankles and roll the wrists. Let it go, you guys. Exaggerate it, rewind it. Let's come back onto the back. Have your weights close by. Now, working a little bit of balance, working the glutes, what we're gonna do here is you're gonna lengthen, keep your left knee bent in, and you're gonna pop your hip up. So what's gonna happen here? Your wrists are gonna stay strong and straight. Weights up, leg up, weights down, thumbs down, okay? So bend from your elbows, pop it up one, pop it two, and three, four. Now dig through the heel, squeeze and lift. Five and six, no pressure on your neck. Seven, elbows close to your side, eight, Nine, one more. Now stamp at the top right here and just pulse the leg. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your glute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold steady. Just the arms pump. One, two, three, and four. Ready to that bicep. Six, seven. Squeeze eight. Two more. And let it go. I'm going to cross and take that left ankle over my right knee. Give myself a little stretch by threading the needle. Pull right through. Take a nice deep breath in. I can add a quick little crunch here, rotating toward that knee. If not, just work on the stretch. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. Exhale, rotate seven. Eight, two more, and nine, one more, and give that a little rest. We're gonna switch heels now, so switch legs. Big breath in, all you're gonna do first is that butt lift, keep your wrist strong and straight, pop it up, and down, one, and two, and three. Exhale, as you lift, squeeze your glute, four, and five, squeeze, six, 
Seven, buns up, weights up. Eight, nine, and 10. Now hold the arms up close to the leg. One and two, squeeze three, four, five. Dig your heel, seven, eight. Isolate and hold it, pump those arms. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep those hips up, five and four. Lift it, three and two, one more. And rest it nicely done. Cross from here, number four, stretch. If comfortable, I'll take my hands behind my head. If I wanna work on the stretch, I'll just thread the needle. If I wanna add that crunch, I'm gonna to rotate towards the knee and lengthen. One and two. Drawing that knee away from me as I pull that knee in. Five, six, exhale for seven. Eight, two more times. Nine, one more time. And rest it, you guys. Very nice. Now we're gonna to come to the bridge. So this is the bridge pose. You can do this without weights and just take your hands right to that heel and squeeze your glutes. What we're we going to do here is gonna take those weights up. Buns down, your elbows are gonna tap down. Buns up, you're gonna hug a beach ball. So tap and lift. One, two, and three. Exhale, four. Now a nice big squeeze at the top. Five and six. Or seven, squeeze and lift, eight. Here we go, nine, one more. Now keep your hips high and open, halfway one. And two, think about making a rainbow, three, stopping using the shoulders, the back, squeeze and lift the buns. Four more, three and two. Keep those hips up, open up the arms and just pulse the hips. One, two, tiny angle with the arms if it's okay, three. Otherwise, draw the arms above your head if that works better. Five, six, squeeze and lift you guys. Seven, exhale, eight, two more times. Nine, one more, and rest. Very nice, go ahead from here and draw the knees into the chest. If you can give yourself a hug behind the knees, if not, on the shins, and if it works, happy baby pose. I want you to imprint your spine. Take a nice deep breath in. Take from here the shoulders, draw them down. Knees towards the floor, heels to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Lengthen your legs, contract and push. Now, this next move, if you have issues with your knees, you probably don't want to try it. What you could do instead is take your palms and press down to the floor. You could bend your knees if you need to. You could do that reverse left and then draw from here. So this would be one choice. Another choice, I would come elbows to knees. Now, if comfortable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and bend my right underneath my left. So my right toe is going to be stuck underneath the left. I'm gonna go ahead from here and roll and push up. Now from this position, if I can, working my balance, I'm gonna add a front snap kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll back, tuck, lift, front snap kick. If need be, when I roll up, take my hand to the floor to help me and lengthen two. Inhale, exhale, three, tuck, Lift, and four, inhale, use your head if you need to, five more times now, lift, squeeze, last four, squeeze and lift, let's do it three more times, rock, try not to come back onto your neck, two more, and one more time, but hold it at the top now. Now, find your center of balance. We're gonna to try to do 10 kicks. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and rest. Great work, you guys. Come all the way back. Pull the knees in, roll them away. Rewind them. Remember this move, if it doesn't work, I've got that curl, got the elbows to the knees. I can even do some scissor kicks if I prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck now. Left behind the right. There's always one side a little bit more challenging to come up with. You're gonna go ahead from here, pop it up. Use your hand if you need to. Curl this bottom foot back, it helps. And add the kick. So tuck, and left, and kick. Two, inhale, exhale, three, reach, left, four, inhale, exhale, curl it up, five more times now, use your hand if you need to to pop yourself up, let's do it four more times, left, squeeze, three more, inhale, Exhale, two more, rock it, left it, one more time now. Now find that center of balance, deep breath in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, one more. Left to the side, all the way back. Take the bottom of your feet together and relax your knees open. Take a nice deep breath in, pull that belly button in, interlace your hands, and lengthen those palms directly to the ceiling. Press the low back down, and then reach the arms all the way up and over the top of your head. Now really sink it down. Relax those knees open, low back pressing. Big breath in, big breath out. Take your hands right by your side, walk the bottom of your feet together as much as you can. Pop and lift, one, exhale, two, and three. I want you to press with your triceps down, four, squeeze and lift, five. Squeeze the side of your glute, six. Squeeze, seven. Eight, two more. Now right here, pulse it one. Two, three, four. Squeeze, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, now hold it up, deep breath in. Keep squeezing, hold for the count of ten. Drop the knees open as far as you can. Squeeze the glutes, press through the fours. Right here, three, two, one more, and let it go. Reach those arms up, imprint right here, and take that low back and press it down. And then lengthen those legs out. Nice deep breath in. I want you to reach through the right fingers and that left heel. Reach and lengthen opposite arm and leg, and then switch to the other side. Reach and lengthen. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Very nice. Go ahead from here and take your hands behind your head. And bend your knees. If I can add the roll from here without using any extra momentum, I'm going to try to keep my hands behind my head. If that doesn't work, I'm going to take my hands underneath my knees. And I'm going to find that center of balance here. So try it with your hands behind your head. You're not going to let those feet come back to the floor. Here we go. Inhale. One. Exhale up. Two. Now try to find that balance. Three. Pull the belly button in as you lift. Four. Five. Inhale. Exhale. Six. Four more. This is seven. And eight, two more times. And nine, one more. And rest it. We're gonna come back to a side plank. I'm gonna try to take that object in front of me again, okay? Now, this time, again, try to take your weights and place them in front of you. 
As I come up into a side plank, I can keep my bottom knee down this time to help me stabilize. Because what I'm going to try to do is take my top foot and bring it right over there. Okay? Now, if you can, elbow tucked in, center of balance, deep breath in. Tap and back. You can always bring your foot back down. Nice deep breath in. So try it first to make sure that you can even come close and back. Here we go. One, two, and just take a bunch of stuff down. Three, four, five, and six. Exhale, seven, drop that bottom knee if you need to. Eight, two more times. Nine, one more time. And rest of you guys. Bend the knees in, open it up to a T, and create a nice big stretch there. Upper body reach, big T. Deep breath in. Create that space in your low back. Lengthen that top leg. You can hold on if it helps and roll the ankle. And replank it. Very nice, you guys. Let's do that same thing on the other side. Gently push it up. All right, so you're going to tuck that elbow in. Now I can go ahead here and come down onto my bottom knee, prop myself up, go ahead and come to that, and then lift it back. All right, so deep breath in. Nice deep breath in. Here we go. Swing. One, two, three, squeeze, four, lift up that hip, five, exhale, six, almost there, seven, three more, eight, two more times now, nine, one more time, and rest, bend those knees in, open it up to the teeth, really create that nice big space between both of your fingers, relax into your low back, and then lengthen your top leg. Roll the ankle. Exaggerate it. Rewind it the other way. And then knee back in, rotate back. And then one more time, bend the knees in and give yourself a nice hug. Just take a little tiny rotation side to side. It feels better just to. Grab on the outer part of the knees. Very nice, you guys. Bend those knees, roll over onto your side, and then gently push yourself up. Push back, downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in. Walk through here and give me a nice forward bend. So keep your back nice and straight, contract the quadriceps. Deep breath in. If you can't touch the floor, your hands on the chin, your back nice and straight. Bend the knees and roll it up. So our balance move here to finish is what we're going to do is find that center, lift up the knee. External rotation, come back in. Now, if you choose, we're going to hold the arms and we're going to tap the shoulder and extend. Deep breath in. Tap. One. Two, three, and four, five, exhale, six, and seven, and eight, two more, and nine. Now hold it right here. Nice deep breath in, open and close. One, two, and three. When we stand on one leg, four, we're working the glutes. Medius, six, top of the glute, seven, keep the knees high as you can, external rotation there. One more. And rest of you guys. Great job. Open up those hips. Create as much space as you can throughout the hip and the hip flexor. All right, so one more time. Open it up. Nice deep breath in. Open. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more time. Now keep it open. One 
and two. Think about that posture, nice and tall. Three, four, keep it open. Five and six. Exhale, seven, three more. Eight, two more. Nine, one more time. And rest it, you guys. Last time here, we're gonna open up the legs. We've got two yoga poses that we're gonna do. We're gonna add some weights to them. What I want you to do from here is open up into a triangle pose. This is where both of the hips are gonna stay square and you're gonna line up your shoulders. You can use one weight at the top and one weight at the bottom. From here, you're gonna reach and lengthen. Open for one. Now keep your hip here, your hip stacked. Two, bottom hip rotated forward. Three, open, four. Inhale, five, lengthen, six, and seven, three more, eight, here we go, one more, now bend the knee, as low as you feel comfortable, tuck the elbow and lengthen and reach, take your bottom hip and rotate it forward, relax the shoulder, pull in, Reach across, bend, lengthen, two, tuck, reach, three, tuck, reach, four, inhale, exhale, five, drop directly above the head, six, right over to the other side, seven, tuck, reach, and eight, two more, as low as we can bend that knee, one more time and relax it lengthen your legs take a moment reach for that object in the center and contract your quadriceps lengthen your spine take a nice deep breath in shift the energy out of your hamstring out of your low back bend your knees grab the weight lift it back up triangle pose other side Square off your hips, reach for the sky, tuck the bottom hip under, one, lengthen, and two, and reach, bottom hip thumbs forward, three, lengthen, four, inhale, five, open, six, here we go, seven, three more, eight, and let's do it nine, one more time now. And 10, bend, tuck, reach, draw it across one, tuck, lengthen, bottom hip here, rotates forward three, tuck, reach, four, right to that corner, five, directly above the head, six, here we go, we're so close, seven, Lengthen, this is eight, we've got two more. Tuck and reach, nine, one more time. And 10. Awesome work, you guys. Take from here your hands right to the stem. And then if it's comfortable, take your hands behind your head and give a gentle pull through. Feel a nice big stretch into your low back. Contract the quadriceps. Lengthen your hamstrings. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Release your hands and from here, contract the quadriceps and draw the top of the head right to the floor. Soften the knees, hands on the knees and roll it all the way up. Let's take three big breaths. Reach for the sky, spread the wings. Interlace the hands, roll the neck, ear to shoulder, chin to chest. And let's do it again. This time, bring the hands directly down right here to the heart center. And let's take one more big breath on to the inhale, positive. And exhale, let go of anything negative. Relax your hands on your heart and gently bow your head. Namaste. Great job.